Hello everyone, it's me Norman again. Um, I feel like I'm a YouTuber. It feels actually a little bit addictive, okay? <clears throat> Today I'm going to talk about the Susanghang Museum of Archaeology, okay? Um, which is uh, located in Bali, New Taipei City, across from the famous Dan Shui, okay? Um, <clears throat> I remember many years ago when I was studying archaeology back in college, my professor asked me this question, okay, why do we need to study archaeology? Today I'm going to ask you the same question, why do we need to study archaeology? Can anybody tell me? All right, here's the answer. <clears throat> By studying animals and humans in the ancient time, we shall be able to explain some of the behaviors and traditions we practice nowadays. Okay, this answer um, inspired me big time and uh, kept me uh, curious about things around me for many, many years. I'm still curious about things, anyway. Um, <clears throat> and we also need to know that uh, there are about 2,000 archaeological sites documented all around Taiwan, okay? So Taiwan is full of history, okay? To talk about uh, uh, Susanghang culture, we first need to know the relationship between Da Ben Ken culture, which is um, from <clears throat> the Neolithic period, 4,000 years ago, and um, uh, the Susanghang culture, which is a great example of uh, <clears throat> the Bronze and Iron Ages. Uh, about 1700 years ago, All right? <clears throat> so, uh, Da Ban Ken culture, uh, people use a lot of uh, uh, utensils and potteries, uh, which you can guess vaguely that they entered agricultural period, but we don't know for sure, okay? And then, uh, 1700 years ago, uh, the um, Susanghang people appeared and used metal, metal utensils and uh, tools to do agricultural uh, works and hunting as well. So, um, by learning the both cultures, we can piece together this uh, missing piece that we weren't sure, you know, one culture was actually entered agricultural time. And then we have proof uh, many years later <coughs> that uh, people actually entered agricultural time. All right. And also, um, <coughs> you need to know these two uh, uh, sites aren't that far from each other, okay? And uh, if you climb up to the roof of uh, the uh, uh, museum, you'll see this irregular shape, octagon shape of a roof. And one of the uh, roofs uh, pointing uh, towards the direction of uh, Da Ban Ken site. Okay. And also, um, Da Ban Ken, uh, excuse me, uh, the Susanghang culture people they traded with uh, uh, tribes or people inside and outside of Taiwan. Okay. How do we know that? Okay, so the, <clears throat> the question is, the answer is that um, we study shell mounds. What are shell mounds? Okay, shell mounds are sort of like big dumpsters, garbage dumpsters that Aborigines use, they put their leftover, food leftovers in there, and sometimes they dump um, uh, their garbage, such as um, <clears throat> um, 
uh, the metal things we talk about, ceramics, potteries. <coughs> you can even find glass or coins from Tang Dynasty. That's why we know these people traded with other people inside and outside of Taiwan. <coughs> okay, and also they live <coughs> in stilt houses. What are stilt houses? Stilt houses are um, uh, uh, platform houses on platforms raised about um, 80 to 100 centimeters above the ground. Okay, uh, uh, this is important for Aborigines because <coughs> by raising up the houses, they can avoid uh, floods or water tides. Okay, or animals or insects. Okay, keep them really safe. Um, and during the summertime, it's cool by living in these houses. <coughs> this practice is still common in South, some of the countries in Southeast Asia, such as uh, uh, the Philippines, uh, Laos, Myanmar, okay, and uh, Cambodia, Thailand even. Okay. <coughs> and I also like uh, some of the features of the museums, uh, such as they, uh, the, the excavation workshop they sometimes have to educate kids how to do excavation works and they put uh, uh, <clears throat> puzzle uh, utensils or vases together to educate kids about um, our own culture you know from the old time okay and um, <clears throat> above the roof you could also on a good day you could also overlook uh, the great view of Danshui River as well as uh, Guan Yin Shan. Okay, um, <clears throat> so this is my presentation about uh, the Shishanghao Museum. Hopefully, you like it. And I know I'm not fully prepared because I've used a lot of the helping words, which is not good. But um, my introduction order is about. <clears throat> Uh, the location first and then uh, talk about the archaeological sites like 2000 of them all over Taiwan and uh, introduce uh, Dabankan culture and uh, Sanghong culture there's a relationship between the two from Neolithic, Neolithic time and uh, um, Browns and Iron Ages okay because um, <clears throat> one is like um, you could only guess they use uh, agricultural, uh, <coughs> uh, they enter agricultural period, but the other one is uh, uh, they have uh, uh, obvious proof that they have already entered agricultural time. And then uh, I talk about other things like trade and uh, food, okay, um, and uh, their housing, okay. So, um, I know this is not super organized, but you just, the subject matter is not that uh, rich to talk about. So you really have to find uh, little things to talk about so you don't stop there. Okay. <clears throat>